Organized. <laughs> I was just literally thinking, what is that noise? I had to do the whole deal. Did you buy a new whip, Mom? You know, it took me about just one ride for me to figure out why on Aristotle you carried your whip up high under your elbow. Because when you touch him, let me tell you something, it's like a lightning bolt. Uh -huh. Thanks for telling me too, you know. <laughs> She had to figure it out. Why not you? No kidding. And when I rode him with Conrad, huh? I, that's why I could only do it with my left hand. Conrad told me to put it in my right hand. Holy shit. Huh. And of course, he started talking. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> but I didn't touch him, Conrad. I can't do it in his hand. He's just thinking that you are. That it's, but now, Yes. And why was he more sensitive in the right hand before? I'm sorry? Why was it you think he was more sensitive in your right hand? It is because you use your left hand because you're left-handed? Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. Because uh, I, for some reason, like to use my whips in my left hand too, but I'm right-handed. Okay, so I'm weird. Good. I like that jump and that balance in the in it. Really nice. Really nice. Make sure in the truck, you know, you have a lot of loft and everything. What we identified yesterday, that he honestly steps through from behind. That's right. Yes. And when you break a half fall, not looking for the suspension, but for more engagement. And 
the hind leg swinging through. That was, I think, the biggest thing that we found out yesterday, yeah? And you want to really feel also that he stays truly diagonal in your half fold. Yeah? Truly diagonal. You don't have that light croup and the front legs get a little bit too quick. That's right. Yes. Good. Not slower than that. There you go. Good. There you go. Hind leg spinning through and not slowing down. Do, but you really want to make, you do not want to feel that you have a passage available. You want to work for the fact that you have a half, a trot step available. And that is in the same rhythm as the collector trot. Yeah? I would really look for that, you know? Good boy. Good. That's right. That's right. And then riding a tempo change where you really feel that there is a bigger stride through the top line. And then that's right. That he jumps through and then when you bring him back there too. That it's a half a canter stride. And not all of a sudden the bass stays long and he just starts rocking. Yes. That's right. Good. Very good. Judy, does he do changes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, they're not 100%. Okay. 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 Uh huh. And then also in the canter, I think about here or there, you know, ride a simple change, and then maybe also a little half pass, little haunches right. in. Exactly. Good. Just a little, always thinking about the balance. Exactly. Always trying to, in your half pass, trying to maintain the quality of the perception of the, the perception of quality bend has to feel shoulder in like. Yes, mm -hmm. good. Sooner or later now that, yes, that's right. Um, I would less sideways, Julie, and le a, a, less a distance. Trying not to go all the way to the center line no, no. unless he maintains uh, the balance and it is a shoulder in feeling that the shoulder clearly leads. Yeah? The forehand clearly leads. Take your time with that. There you go. Good. Think of the engagement. Good job in when you collect. There you go. Good. He has to come a little bit more under and bend his joints more. Not sure. That's right. Good. That's plenty. That's plenty. Now make him straight already again. Good. Shoulder in feeling. That's right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So that you always feel from a little half pass, it doesn't have to go very sideways, to the shoulder four or shoulder in. Shoulder four, shoulder in, determined by the fact how much he lost the bend. Yes. There you go. Good. That's right. Good. And now already straight ahead again. Straight ahead again. Straight ahead again. There. There. Straight ahead. Yes. And then a few steps sideways. Exactly. So that you really teach that the half pass, you know, that you teach the self carriage that he stays on his hind leg in the half pass and not loses the bend. But then all of a sudden you cover distance to the center line, but the balance is not good. And straight ahead again. Yes, that's right. And the half off. And in the half off, you have to just learn sooner or later not good. The smaller the steps, much more organized. Much more. There, there, there. That's the same canter in the half pass. No more. No more. Keep him on his hind legs a little bit. That's not more sideways, not more, not more. Upper balance, not more. Exactly. Exactly. That is going to take a little while, but that is exactly going to determine how he maintains collection and engagement in it. That's right. Good. Good. 
Try not to impress yourself with the maneuverability sideways, but more one of that's right and straight and straight and straight and shoulder forward. Good boy. That'll, but pet him. You know he can. You know, take a little bit of a break because this exactly determines determines what your goal is now in the near future, huh? Good. Just little strike sideways on his hind legs. Yes. Good. Front and clearly leading. Good. Little. That's right. No more. No more. And then straight. And shoulder four. 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 That's that boy. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, yeah. So that you're not just impressing yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself with how maneuverable he right. is. But by the second stride in the half pass, he's already high in the croup. Yeah? yeah. Very little sideways. Good. And then straight. Shoulder four. Shoulder four. In alignment. 